This battle scheduled for three three-minute rounds first. Fighting out of the Hogs Red Corner. He weighed in at 145 pounds, holds an undefeated record of one win and no defeats, and represents KMAA in Knoxville, Tennessee. Put your hands together for Alex Hawley. And his opponent, fighting out of the OEB Blue Corner. He weighed in at 146 pounds, represents D-Evil MMA in Johnson City, Tennessee, and is making his MMA debut. Give it up for Alex McKinney. Your referee for tonight's action is Jimmy Neely. Jimmy Neely, our referee in this featherweight battle, 145. Alex Holly in the black trunks, Alex McKinney in the gray trunks. Three three-minute rounds here at Apex 10 in Kingsport with Casey Oxidon, I and Vince Farrar, Jimmy Neely, points at both sides, checks, and here we go. All right, McKinney coming out in that, in that southpaw stance, but Alex Holly all over the place, look at this. Take down for McKinney. Good, good Holly, hips there, me. good hips there by McKinney, recovering his guard. Close guard. And again, Holly just a ton of steam, man. Very smart move there by Alex McKinney to close that guard up, calm down Alex Holly. It's particularly in the early goings here where that power is very dangerous. Uh, the submission ability is very dangerous because you're you're very dry and it's it's easy to, to latch on and, and hold them. McKinney holding on to Holly, who's trying to get in position to rain down some shots, but has not been able to free that arm up. Sticks one to the body. Holly appears to be content inside the guard, pounding. Uh, has yet to, to look for a pass there, though McKinney is for diving, yeah, for that, that triangle submission hold. It appears that Holly still has his arm on the inside. Well, didn't have the shoulder. There we go. Oh. Those punches by Alex McKinney allowed him to slip that, that arm out, out and get the position. But now full Alex guard. Holly has escaped and advanced to full mount. Yeah. You're ahead of me on this one. <laughs> I'm you're sorry. <laughs> you're I'm awesome. Sorry. It's exciting. I'm learning from you. You are. <laughs> wow, look at those shots. Big right shots down. there by Holly. McKinney, though, very active from bottom, doing what he has to do to to halt the onslaught, at, at least momentarily. All right, now McKinney really needs to watch that rear naked choke right here. He could be in a tough spot. I'm gonna try to flatten him out here. Got the back. Looks like, is, is Holly trying to turn from that, inside that position? No, no, I McKinney. think McKinney. Yeah. I think McKinney's turning that angle, but yeah. he's kind of stuck in there. It appears as though maybe his his chin is in, and that's preventing the actual blood choke. And he reverses. Yep. Now Damn, it's Alex, Alex McKinney in mount position. Let's see how Alex Holly handles this situation from his back. Holly trying to get up, but he's eating shots while doing so. And it may have, it may be that Alex Holly blew up a lot of his energy there in the early goings. Alex McKinney on top, closing out this round, looking for the guillotine. That's the end of a very exciting round one. Wow. Undoubtedly, and you see Alex McKinney back to his feet quickly. Alex Holly not so much. So how do you score that first round, Casey? Well, it, it may be that, that Alex Holly did a little too much too early on to, uh, you know, and, and scored it because, uh, but, but Alex McKinney did look on the up in the closing minutes, closing moments. He did, we can't forget though, uh, Holly still had a lot of time on top. It maybe it wasn't raining down shots or anything, but even after that fast start, he was still in, a, in the top position a lot. Yes, I mean, I think he was definitely in control of, you know, two and a half minutes of that three minute round. But, like I said, going into the second round, I believe that Alex McKinney appears to have the momentum. Now, the score is the score, though. So, going into the second, 
Yeah, if I'm in McKinney's corner, I may be saying, you know, you may or may not have done enough to secure it. You need to go out there and, and take these next two and, and use that momentum. Battle of Alex's. Holly is in the black trunks. McKinney is in the gray trunks. He's big, big bouncing smile. in the corner. Big smile. Yeah. Big smile on the face of Alex McKinney. He's going to have some fun. I, I definitely think Alex Holly may have burned up a little bit of that energy. Okay, here we go. McKinney looking for the guillotine. Textbook takedown by Alex Holly. Well, he had one to start round number one and to start round two. Oh, here we go. From this vantage point, I can't tell exactly what's going on. Stuck one shot, now posture up. Pushed off by McKinney. McKinney very up active kicks. with those kicks. Man. And now he's back on top is, is Holly. To me, this is your classic wrestler versus jujitsu guy. Alex Holly getting the top, not necessarily advancing to the, those dominant spots, though he was in mount position. He's not really pushing to attack the, the pass on the guard. Uh, just looking for the ground and pound where Alex McKinney is really gunning for those submissions in, in every area. Corner telling Holly to keep his, his head up, doesn't want to make it vulnerable to, uh, to a choke or to a triangle. Adjusted positions, but back to the same one with Holly on top. Jimmy Neely, our referee, eyeing it closely. Second round here in this featherweight battle, 145. And that is one thing about Jimmy Neely. We may have ourselves a triangle choke on the part of Alex McKinney. This one looks much tighter. Wow. Sticking shots to the head. McKinney takes a few hammer fists, but he's not letting go here. And again, Alex Holly slips out. Oh, he had a big head kick. Up kicking, it's over. Jimmy Neely stopped it because Holly was staggered after eating an up kick. Wow. And Alex McKinney wins his debut. Kings, excuse me, Johnson City's own. What with a, huge a crowd. finish. I think Jimmy Neely saw him that he was he was yeah. stunned and said, I'm not taking any chances. That one stunned me, man. That was uh <laughs> no real argument from Holly. Yeah. You know, I'm sure he's very disappointed, but he didn't make a big deal about it. I think he knew that he was temporarily out. Sure. And the referee is trying to save the, the fighter. There. And these are amateur fights. Yeah. This is for experience. And uh, they both both of these guys certainly got experience here tonight. Wow. What a win for Alex McKinney, who was in some Difficult and very dangerous situations at yes, times. Yes, absolutely. He had the was caught in the rear naked choke even and persevered and, and escaped. See three tough talents there in the corner with him. Dustin Diablo Walden, of course JSP who yep. fights in the co-main tonight, and then Ian Boxhorn. Three That's men right. I know extremely well. All oh, great guys as well. A win for Alex McKinney. D Evil Camp, terrific camp. And Alex Holly will fall to one and one. Alex Holly's MMA win in his debut was over Sean Perkins of Valor Fights 30. I was only 59 seconds on strikes. And his record now even at one and one, but nothing to be ashamed of. Great effort by Alex Holly here tonight. Very close to winning that fight at times was Holly. Yeah, very, very well matched fight, of course. Evident of our tremendous matchmakers here at Valor Fights. Yeah. They always make a good fight. And, and, and even when there's a, a late change for whatever reasons, health reasons or anything else, that that adjusting on the fly, Tim and Cody and the matchmakers, I mean, they, they do a great job of finding the right replacement opponent as well, not just sticking anyone. And, and it seems to always work out. There are so many entertaining fights. Well, with great skill, luck comes along freely. All right. Back to the cage, and Jennifer.
Your referee stops this fight at two minutes and six seconds into the second round for your winner by KO, Alex McKinney.